Okay, huge warning for the content ahead. When I noticed this detail in book two, I was done. I, I couldn't. I put the series down right there and never looked back. I mean, sure, I finished the book and read the other 13 and the winglets and the Legends novels and made this YouTube channel to talk about them, but I was done with this series. It was, it was too much to handle. What detail am I talking about? Well, the shape of the sea wing snouts, of course. That is not what the snout of an aquatic predator looks like. An animal whose diet consists primarily of fish should not have the jaw structure of a lion. They should be elongated, built for snatching quick, slippery things out of the water as they swim by, not for holding on to zebra necks. Oh my gosh, I can already hear the criticism. But, but, but Jade Bout Archive. It's a fictional kid series. It doesn't need to be accurate. Okay, are you really going to tell me that the author who took the time to think through the physiological ramifications for the circadian rhythm of a nocturnal species existing in a volcanically induced near permanent darkness isn't going to think about what the faces of their main characters look like? No! No, that is just ridiculous! Okay, but Jade Mount Archive, that face would look weird on dragons. Are you kidding me? Have you seen the dragons from Pantala? They have the right faces, but they're not even aquatic predators. Gah!